Hello, I'm Ron Hatter. I am the K-12 Mathematics Supervisor for the East Chester School District, and effective July 1st, I will be serving as a Director of Curriculum and Instruction for the District. Dr. Marilyn Terranova, our Superintendent of Schools, and the East Chester Board of Education asked me to analyze enrollment data for the district. The data are based on the information from a prior independent demographic study commissioned by the district and an analysis of our current enrollment, grades K through 12. Slides that you are about to see indicate three-year average cohort sizes. For example, data for the 2001-2002 school year include the average cohort sizes from 1999-2000, 2000-2001, and 2001-2002. Three-year averages were chosen since the average building in the East Chester School District holds 3.4 grade levels. Using enrollment data, which portrays the number of students already in the East Chester schools, I applied a linear regression formula that produces a trend line. This is for projection purposes, so we can estimate the growth of the district based on current enrollment. Again, the estimates are based on actual current enrollments. As stated in the introduction, the enrollment in the 2001-2000 school year and the two school years prior to that was just below 450 students. In the 2010-2011 current school year, the enrollment in grades kindergarten and one are over 500 students. The actual enrollment figures are demonstrated by the solid blue line on the graph, and a linear regression model was used to project enrollment figures going forward, and that's evident by the dashed line on the screen. What this enables us to do is look at enrollment historically and use that to project enrollment figures going forward. We'll also observe in grades two and three a similar trend of increasing enrollment and increasing projections for upcoming school years. In grades four and five, that increase is more prominent. In 2010-2011, our actual enrollment figures are just over 475 students. Going forward to the 2011-12 school years and beyond, we're projecting an increase. In grades six through eight, the average enrollment is also increasing at a very significant rate, and the trend line is mirroring that significant increase as well. In grades 9 through 12, once again, you'll observe a, a prominent increase in the average enrollment, and the linear regression model is also mirroring that increase in enrollment. As we look at the middle school, high school campus, grades 6 through 12, we'll notice that the average enrollment, as well as the linear regression model, are mirroring each other in a steep increase of students going back from 2001-2002 to the current 2010-2011 school year. And district-wide, in 2001-2002, enrollment in the district was just over 2,400 students. And during this current 2010-2011 school year, we're just over 3,000 students at 3,068 students. The following data display live birth rates in the East Chester School District catchment area and actual grade level enrollments. As we take a look at grades two, grades one, and kindergarten, what we're comparing are the actual enrollments in that grade level as well as the live births during the, the corresponding year. For example, if we look at our current kindergarten, there are 221 students in kindergarten this year. In 2005, the year that that cohort was born, there were 95 live births in the East Chester School District catchment area. That's a 133% increase in students. As we take a look at grade one, there were 132 live births in the East Chester School District catchment area but there are 277 students enrolled in grade one. That's a 110% increase. And as we look at grade two, we'll observe that there were 131 students born in 2003. And there are 278 students 
in grade two in our district. That's a 112% increase from live births to students enrolled in the district in that grade level. We'll also notice that in grades three, grades four, and grades five, there is a similar pattern of increase, although not as dramatic as the increase has been over the past three years. In 2006, there were 82 live births in the East Chester School District catchment area. For the upcoming school year's kindergarten class, we have over 220 students registered. So the, tra the trend and the pattern are continuing. As we take a look at grades six through eight, we'll observe that the increase or decrease are a little bit more tempered. And in, in grade eight, in fact, there were 238 live births for that cohort of students, and there are 238 students in the district in grade eight. As we look at the high school grades, grades nine through 12, we'll observe that grades nine and 10, our students currently in grades nine and 10, have a uh, moderate increase, while our students in grades 11 and 12 have a more dramatic increase in the number of students compared to live births and enrollments. As we look at the next few slides, we're going to look at projected average cohort sizes at the middle school and high school campuses. If we take a look at the 2010-2011 school year at East Chester Middle School, each class size averages 238 students. There will be 243 students on average next school year, and as we progress throughout each school year, we're observing that the average class size is actually increasing to about 269 students on a grade level. I also applied a linear regression model to this trend just to help us gain better, a better understanding of our projections and class sizes going forward. And that equation is actually indicated in the bottom corner of your screen. For those of you keeping track at home, the equation is y equals 5.678x plus 227.5. Now, to calculate you, to calculate enrollment using this equation, it's actually quite simple to do, and you can follow along at home. Our first year of data is 2011-2010. For our purposes, that's going to be year one. And all we'll do is substitute that one in for x in the equation. So 5.678 times one, because 2011, 2010, 2011 is our first year. 5.678 times 1, anything times 1 is itself. We'll add that to 227.5, and we'll get a number that's roughly 233, which is exactly where our trend line takes us. And as we look at the 2011-12 school year, x would now assume the value of 2. And each subsequent year would assume an x value of 1, one greater. The same can be done on the high school level. As we look at average cohort sizes in the high school, we see that in the 2010-2011 school year, there are on average 210 students per grade. As we move forward on the high school level, we'll observe that that trend is actually going to take us to about 235 students, and at one point exceeding 240 students on average. The equation that can model the pattern on the high school level is also indicated on the bottom of your screen. y equals 2.557x plus 217.5. And the same formula and the same procedure would be, would be applied to get the projection, projected enrollments going forward. This next slide indicates cohort survival rates. What we decided to do was look at the graduating classes of 2011, 2010, and 2009 and look at that class size as graduating seniors as compared to that same cohort of students as kindergartners. And what we observed was that in 2010-2011, our current graduating seniors, there was a 10.8% increase in enrollment from that same cohort of students as kindergartners to graduating seniors. So we tracked enrollment all the way through their school years and notice that we had 10.8% more students enrolled as seniors than as kindergartners. We'll also notice that in the 2010 school year, we had a 5.9% increase. So if we look at that same cohort of students as kindergartners and follow them through their years of schooling at the East Chester School District, there were 5.9% more students graduating in that class 
than began in kindergarten. And there were 6.5% in the class of 2009. This next slide takes our enrollment projections and compares it to our capacity analysis. You'll observe that at East Chester Middle School, the enrollment in the 2010-2011 school year is 714 students. The projected enrollment in the 2016-2017 school year is 808 students. That's a 94 student increase. And the functional capacity, which was derived by using New York State Education Department guidelines to establish target class sizes, the target class size for general education classes is 27 students. The target class size for science and special area subjects is 24. We then calculated the square footage of each instructional space in middle and high schools and compared this to recommended guidelines set forth by the New York State Education Department. Finally, we analyzed how efficiently current space is used. This is based on scheduling, detailed room use reports for each room, and the square footage of the rooms. Together, these factors enabled us to reach a functional capacity for each building. And that functional capacity at the middle school level is 533 students. Now, just to be clear, our middle school has a functional capacity of 533 students. However, in the year 2016-2017, we're projecting 808 students. That would put us 275 students over the functional capacity of the middle school. You'll observe the same trend continuing on the high school level. The enrollment in the 2010-2011 school year is 875 students. The projected enrollment in the 2020-2021 school year is 946 students. I would like to highlight the difference in the years of our enrollment projections. You'll observe that the middle school has projected enrollment out until 2016-2017. That's because we're utilizing student data of students who are currently in the district. And as those middle school students in 2016-17 progress through their high school years, they'll be graduating to th in 2020-2021, which is why we're able to take our high school projection four years out. And the change on the high school level from the current enrollment to the projected enrollment, 2020-2021, is 71 students. And our functional capacity, based on the New York City model, is 768 students. Once again, our high school is built to accommodate 768 students. We're projecting 946 students in the 2020-21 school year. That puts us 178 students above our functional capacity. So, what does it mean when a building is so far above its functional capacity? Well, class sizes are in excess of the State Education Department recommended target size of 27 for regular education classes and 24 for science and special area subjects. This has been verified to be the case already. Room use rates for special subjects are in excess of standards recommended by New York State and New York City. Creative scheduling techniques have been exhausted in order to use non-traditional spaces for instruction or study halls, and availability of certain courses and electives becomes limited. I hope that this information has been helpful. In conclusion, the middle school and high school are presently over capacity by a combined 288 students, and this number is expected to grow to 453. This is a very significant number for buildings of our size. While the overcrowding does not pose safety or health risks, it does mean that delivery of our program, particularly in science, may become compromised. The Board of Education and District Administration are in the process of reviewing options to address space issues in the middle school and high school. This presentation will be available on our website and in the district office. Thank you for watching.